start off by peeling some white clay into a little dish or something you don't really care about and chop it up pretty good. So after you get all this mushed up, you're going to take Elmer's glue and pour it on there. Doesn't that look delicious? Mix it up. So we've mixed it up and now I've spooned a little bit on this little piece of plastic here so you can see it. That's just potatoes. And uh, since it's just, it's uncooked polymer clay, a block of clay, and then Elmer's glue, you really don't need to bake it. Uh, but you can if you want to. And then for the gravy, all I've done is, uh, this is TLS with brown chalk in it. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. You can either use translucent liquid Sculpey. And that's what's in here. I poured it in there. And then you take any kind of pastel, any chalk. It really doesn't matter. You take the chalk and you keep it off your potatoes. And um, it'll be white, remember, when you first pour it in. And then you just scrape off the powder. And that gives it the color. Mix it up. And then you have your translucent liquid Sculpey. And I just keep mine. And you can use this for... Um, I keep mine in a little closed container. You can use it for gravy on your potatoes. Or, like if you have a steak, it kind of looks like the color of the juices that run off. You can bake that with the translucent liquid Sculpey. The other thing you can use if you don't want to bake it, you can use gallery glass, and this is just clear. And then you put the you should put shavings of the brown chalk in the gallery glass, and then it makes the same thing. But then it air dries hard, and that way you don't have to bake it. The other thing that you put on mashed potatoes, of course, is butter. And I don't know if you can see it. And there's a little bitty square of butter in there. This one's pre-baked. Of course, I forgot. I didn't bake the TLS on top of it <laughs> yet. But um, the this is the little square of butter. All you do is you take some very yellow clay. And you, you just slice it into little tiny squares. And you put that right on top and mine even slid off to the side is like a little pat of butter and then I use translucent liquid Sculpey but like I said you can use this this I'll have to bake on top um, or you can use the gallery glass and then you put yellow chalk shavings in it or you could use pretty much you can use chalk you can use um, acrylic paint you can use food coloring probably anything to get get it that color that you really want you try and match up the yellows here, and you're not going to want as much yellow on there as you did the gravy, but you will put it on top of a little pat of butter, and then you want the butter to run off and get thin, just like it does in real life. And then you bake that, and then you have uh, butter on your mashed potatoes. It looks like it's melting.